Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Amelie Art. And today, since it's like it's the beginning of summer break, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to draw um, a flamingo ice cream cone. So this is what it'll look like. And stay for the whole video to see the end. And yeah, um, so yeah, let's get started. So for this picture or drawing, or painting anything um you you could use whatever materials you want you could use paint you could even make a sculpture of it which would be really cool um so you can see so you could use anything so on um, this one i drew right here the lighting right here i did colored pencils but you guys could do um watercolor or watercolor pencils markers sharpies um i'm actually going to be doing these um watercolor um these watercolor markers and so they're like um you could, you could use them for calligraphy and all this stuff or you could just use them to draw so this is what one of them looks like and you could just like so you could draw and blend with them or like because i have a few artworks i've done with them so at the end of the video, stay till the end and I'll show you guys those, okay? So let's start with the picture. Let me just set up my phone and I'll be right with you. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna be using these markers and um, I have a little flamingo case and it has some of my flamingo racers that I will be using, which is sad because I, um, I have a racer collection, so I just collect a bunch, so make sure to subscribe and like to see that whole thing. It's huge. It'll probably be like it's like um, like the size of a huge picture frame. So if you want to see my racer collection, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that stuff. So here's the flamingo racers that I'm gonna be using. Let's just put those in the corner here and. I also have my flamingo pen I'm going to be using. I also have a pen collection. I have like a collection of everything almost. Let me close that door. Okay. Um, so, so first off, you're going to want to start off with a new piece of paper. And you're just going to begin sketching your flamingo with like a pencil. Or you could even go ahead and paint it. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do... A pencil sketch and like well like I don't know I'm just gonna start with a pencil sketch then I'm gonna outline it with this pen so you guys can see it better because a pencil is a bit hard to see on camera so yeah I'll be right back so first you're gonna want to start with a pencil you don't have to but this is what I'm gonna show you guys how to do so I have a H pencil um, you should, st honestly, you should start with, like, a lighter pencil, and because the darker ones, they show, they're, they're harder to erase, but, um, you could also, don't push as hard, push as hard, because, um, you don't want it to be, like, permanent, like that, so, first you're gonna start with the flamingo's head, so, you're just gonna, um, you're just gonna start, like, this, so you're gonna start with a line, I think you guys can see that, and you're just gonna go up. So it kind of looks like, I don't know, like how you start, so you're just kind of gonna start drawing a letter M, and then like I said, just erase the rough lines, just smooth it out a little more, see? And I'm gonna go back and fix that. So, and then, so once you have like your like arch, you're gonna go down, like a slant but like kind of go like so like this okay I hope you guys can see that so like that and then you're gonna go and smooth it out mm -hmm. um, let me use my eraser a little so and then you're gonna want to begin on your body so you can make your flamingo's body whatever size you want, but I'm gonna make it like, like a lump, cause 
it's going to be an ice cream. And so you're just going to kind of round it like that. <laughs> it went a little too big, so I'm just going to erase it. It's kind of hard to erase, but it should be okay. And then you're just going to want to... So then, so just keep it like that for now. And then you're going to want to begin drawing your beak. So it's going to be like this. Like that. And then just do a line connecting to the top of its head. And then you could either just, you could leave your beak like this. It's fine if you do that. You could add a line in here. Or you can add one right here to make like, if you see, let me use one of my, um, Mango stuffed animals, you could see they have like that right there. So that's what I'm about to draw. Oh no, <laughs> I almost knocked the tripod over. So I'm just gonna do that, okay? So you have the beak and parts of the body finished. So then you're just gonna take it and go down like that. So, like a semi little dip, and then you're just gonna follow along the neck and just make it a little fatter. And um, yeah, so that's how the sketch looks, and then I'm just gonna go over it in pen so you guys can see it better, and yeah, I'll be right back. So, I did my outline, and I'm just gonna begin to do a little dot for the eye. You can make your flamingo's eye whatever you want it to look like. Um, I just did a little dot because it's simple, and yeah, so... This is my flamingo. It's pretty nice right now. Um, and you could, this is, so for, um, for my, so since it's gonna be a flamingo ice cream, I'm just gonna add a little cherry on top of its back. Like that. Okay, so there you go. I hope you guys can see that. Um, so there's a little cherry. And you could add, the, you could even add like whipped cream on the head or a strawberry you can make it like you could even make your flamingo like look like 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 ice creams like ch you can make a chocolate flamingo so you could make it brown you can make like mint chocolate chip and you could do like a light green but I think I'm gonna do a strawberry because why not <laughs> so um, I'm gonna begin using my water colored but er, I can't talk I'm gonna begin using my markers Oh, my watercolor markers, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I also have some other art supplies that I'm going to be using. Um, I have a water, I think it's like a water pen, and you, what you do is you fill water in the, like the, like the body of the pen, and then when you squeeze it, water comes out the tip, so it's really good for blending, or just doing watercolor. And I, you, I found this at the dollar store or 99 cent store, if you have those got by you guys. And you, I think you could buy them off Amazon and all this. And these pens, I found them at Target. They were on sale. And then I have jelly rolls, jelly roll pens. They're white. So these are good for giving your pictures highlights, like for like glares in eyes or like just little details. And you could buy these basically like anywhere, like at craft stores, sometimes maybe at Target. Um, I got these from Michaels. You could probably buy them on Amazon because you could buy anything on Amazon. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I almost forgot to draw the ice cream cone of my flamingo. So I'm gonna do that really quick, okay? So you're just gonna wanna do, you can make yours more detailed. You can make it like a McDonald's cone. Um, but I'm just going to do mine as a triangle, um, and you're just going to put it below the flamingo, kind of. So like this, and then you could even draw like drip on the, like, like drip, like ice cream dripping on the flamingo. So I'm going to do that really quick. I'm going to do, <laughs> be brave and do it in pen. So I, as you can see, I put, I started to draw the outline of that, but it should be fine because, like, I'm going to be coloring over it. So there's one piece. And then I'm gonna do like that, a smaller one. I'll do two on that side and two on this side. There we go. <laughs> that one got kind of fat. Okay. Um. 
So that's how it looks. Oh, so this is that part's optional. You don't have to do it, but I'm just doing it to show like examples of what you can make your flamingo look like. You could even add like eyelashes to your flamingo, or you can make it like you could draw it really realistic and then do a cone. So I'm just gonna do this, make that outline a little fatter, and. So then for the cone, you just want to do this. Keep going, because they have like that kind of diamond pattern in it. So you're just gonna go like that. You could do any pattern. You could even draw like hearts in the cone or on it. And I'm just doing this. And then I'm just gonna repeat. So I did that. And you could also add a wing to your flamingo. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Just because, I don't know, I'm weird. Um, and so next you're going to, I'm going to take my marker. And it has like a brush tip. And I'm just going to do some lines on it. So I'm just going to do that. And oh, it got a little off. That's fine though because it will make it look more like your style and you could do whatever style you want with this I'm doing like my own style um, this is how I'm gonna I'm just gonna do some lines like highlights kind of from like make it fat and then like that see if you guys could see that um and then I'm just gonna be brave and do this like kind of draw a wing um, that's a really weird wing. Oh my gosh, I should have done that better. But yeah, I'm just gonna draw like patterns. So coming from it, like I'm ruining this, but that's what it looks like for now. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna take my pen, gonna squeeze some water out and blend it. And you could start to see how it makes that color like you just blend it and it will make it'll clean it up a little it'll hide like flaws you made and no one will really pay attention to your mistakes so i'm just gonna keep blending it and i'll be right back As you can see, I finished. I think I'm finished with my um, flamingo, and I'm just gonna make sure to sign your name. That's really important because it lets other people know that it's your artwork. So I'm just gonna do mine really quick. There we go. I keep changing mine, but that's what mine is for now. And um, so this is my flamingo, and I'll let you guys get a closer look in a sec. Okay, I'll be right so. Um, here is my finished work of my flamingo, and um, I liked it, and you guys could also do, you could put like more, like you know how sometimes for ice cream cones, like you get a scoop and then you get another scoop on top of the scoop, I think it's called like a double scoop or something, scoop, 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 so you could make your flamingo like on top of another flamingo or on top of another ice cream scoop. But this is mine, um, as you can see. I put like some marker in some places, so it looks kind of 3D. And the same with my flamingo. And then I just blended it. You don't have to blend yours. And you could also use washer <laughs> um, washable markers as watercolor markers, so or any other markers. So you just do the same technique that I was doing. You just draw like and then you use it as watercolor you don't have to have a water brush you could just have a brush and you dip it in water and like blend it so this is my flamingo and if like i said in the beginning of the video something just fell i think it was like a scrap paper um like i said in the beginning of the video i'm about to show you guys my other artworks that i did so i'll go get those and i'll be right there so here's one of them I did, this was one of my first ones. They're on graph paper, 
because the graph paper is kind of waxy and it was easier to draw it on. So this first one says BU and I did like a blended heart. Then I had like her and I did her dress blended. And yeah, next one I had was this mermaid and I blended her too. So yeah, there she is. Um, then I had this one. Oh, it's kind of, you kind of see the other ones I did. Um, and yeah, um, so I did like this St. Patrick's one. Um, it said luck. If you see, if you go on my Instagram, um, I'll put, I'll try to put that in the link or whatever. <laughs> um, my Instagram is Amelie underscore L-I-L-I -L -I underscore Polly. And then I think a number six after it. Um, that's, um, you could see all my, a lot of my art. Um, and then I did another St. Patrick's one with a leprechaun. And it says luck of the Irish. The little clover. And a, like a pot of gold and a rainbow. And then I did this one. It's a blended hummingbird going into a flower. So yeah. And then, I have a lot. I have this one. It says sweet. Then I did an ice cream cone dripping. And then like a banana chocolate popsicle dripping. I'm obsessed with doing dripping stuff. Um, I did this cat with this stuff. I didn't blend it. But, um... It still looks pretty cool. I think I blended a little. And I made a blue cat sticker of it. So um, join in next video to see it. It's on my computer thing, thing or laptop. And then I have this picture of this girl. And she has like blue hair. I drew like a kind of version of me. <laughs> um, and I'm just sitting like that. And then I think this is my last one. I drew like this bird with polka dots. And it's spotted. So... Um, thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And put in the comments what stuff you used to draw it. And I hope you guys try this picture at home. Oh, so, yeah. And, like, yeah, make sure to stay, like, keep, so stay subscribed to see more of my videos. I'm probably going to try posting again because it's summer and school's out. And I don't have to worry about, like, homework and all that stuff. So, bye. I hope you guys come back next time. Bye.